Welcome to another video from East Beds Bushcraft, the home of Hashtag Survival. Greetings bushcrafters and survivalists, Buzz here, with his exceptionally long beard at the moment, uh, due to filming. Anyway, I'm here uh, today to set out the trail cam. Over the past year, I've been on the search for some deer. Now, in my local area, we certainly have uh, Reeves Monk Jack, get them all the time, and roe deer, and the sneaking possibility of Chinese water deer, although local people have told me that they haven't arrived in our area, and, but can be seen around the Amp Till area in Bedfordshire. However, I have seen on three occasions over the past year a much larger deer, and I believe that they're seeker deer. Now, I've managed to get a photograph at one occasion at a distance of a small group of female you know does and but when I, sh well, I say and but when I showed them to other people they said that they felt that they were roe deer but actually being there and knowing how big a roe deer is these deer look that much bigger and then I've seen them briefly at distance as I say and about a week ago, when I was uh, on some land that I uh, caretake, um, I saw across a lake a large deer. Stag, had horns, though I'd say juvenile, they weren't huge, but um, it was obvious at the distance that it was a much larger deer. And then as that moved out of camera shot, um, so I didn't get a picture of it, in to shot came a doe. And again, it was large, and when it turned away from the camera, moved off, it had quite a, a heart-shaped white rump, um, which is very similar to the seeker deer. Now, these deer, as I say, I, I'm pretty sure that they are, but people in the area, other naturalists, don't agree that we have seeker deer here. Um, we're not too far, I mean we're a few miles, but not too far from places like Woburn where they have you know, fallow deer and red deer and I believe seeker deer as well. But I, I am sure that they're around. So my quest is to see if I can discover whether these deer are seeker deer or whether I'm mistaken and they're actually just roe deer. Uh, so I, but because I, I saw where these deer were, I went to this place particular place yesterday uh, and spied out exactly the point from where I saw them then I, I was at where they were there are no um, convenient trees or anything around that area to put a camera on so I bought a post and convenient hammer sledgehammer and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting out uh, this top guard 4K, it's a model number H70A trail cam. I've used this quite a lot. It's a handy little cam. I've, you might have seen my videos. This is the one I use when I catch the otters. Um, uh, so I'm going to set this up and leave it out for the next week. See if we find anything. But my goal this year, or for the foreseeable future, is to see if I can track down and capture these deer on camera and finally find out exactly what breed they are. Now I've just arrived at the area where I saw the deer and would you believe it I actually spooked two large deer at a distance I've got a lot of a lot of scrub around here which is uh, last year's um, uh, thistles and uh, um, uh, burdock all down but I spooked them and again at distance these are big deer but unfortunately I didn't get my camera out fast enough before they'd gone out of distance so I haven't actually caught them on film but they did head in the direction I just came from anyway look I'm here now and we do have I don't know it's very difficult because it's quite bright on the camera from the sun we have trails through here that the 
the deer are using. That right, camera is now set up on its post. Early morning sun at the moment is heading right for the camera. Uh, when I spotted the deer before, it was uh, late afternoon, probably about three, four o'clock when they're over in this area. So I'm gonna just leave it here, it's probably already picking me up. And uh, I've set it at a height where I feel like if these deer are, are larger, it's gonna get a better idea of scale on them rather than being down near the ground. So let's see how this works out. Ah, I can see those deer in the distance. There it goes, there they go, there they go. See the big white bums? All right, might have been in luck. So fingers crossed we can get some conclusive proof over the next week. Okay, so I've just tracked them to where I last saw them. I need to just go up this bank. I don't know if they're gonna be about at all, but I'm gonna quietly go up this bank, see if I can see these deer anywhere. Fingers crossed. that the doe went off in the opposite direction. Now it could be that these two deer that I'm tracking this morning are actually roe deer. And that are not the ones that I've seen, which are much bigger. It's very difficult to move through this old tangle of last year's thistles without making a noise. Let's just try and quietly, as quiet as I can. I think I've found a track here. There's a lot of deer prints running down here. That would suggest there's an area where they make their way down. We've got a lot of prints in here. There is definitely, uh, definitely Reeves Monk Jack, possibly larger. Yeah, I don't see that doe went. Anyway, I think I took a glimpse of the uh, Buck's antlers. I don't know if I caught that on camera at all. I might be able to zoom in, but that might help to identify what deer I've been looking at this morning. Anyway, I'll catch you again in a bit. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell. That's a, a much bigger print that's gone in there. Let's see if I can take a better photograph of it. So I've come round to a small lake, which is next to the village build, and I was up on the higher bank up there, uh, the doe went in this direction, uh, while the stag, the buck went in the other direction, and uh, you can see where the lake is here, how close I am to the village. Let's just take, since we're here, let's just go and have a little wander into the village. Um, we get a lot of deer that come through here, just looking down, there you go. So Reeves Monk Jack, a tiny little prince coming through. I've caught a lot of my badgers, foxes, jays. We got a lot of uh, we get a lot of um, buzzards and kites around here. It's the lean-to that we put up last weekend. Still need to come and finish that. Let's move our way across. Interestingly enough, although we get an awful lot of the Reeves Monk Jack through here, and it's obvious, I mean, this is a, this is a pathway. Oh, I think it got spooked over there. Probably a Reeves Monk Jack. Um, you can see where the, hopefully on the camera, just shows you the kind of the pathway that the deer come through on, out to the other smaller lake. 
something's just made a ripple in there. What a beautiful morning it is. Um, I haven't had any of the larger prints in here, so I say we shall find out exactly. I want to have a 100% ID on these particular deer that I saw this morning and see if we pick up anything else. Well, it's time for me to head back to the car and go through the footage uh, of what I've got on the camera just to see if I can spot what it was that we caught on camera this morning. And let's see what the trail cam picks up over the next seven days. Really looking forward to it. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, catch you again soon. So to finish off, um, I'm back in the car and I've had a quick look at the video that I took and I caught a glimpse of the buck's antlers and I'm pretty sure that what we saw on the video today were a buck, stag uh, and doe uh, roe deer. Um, they they good fair sized deer but not as big as what I was hoping for when it comes to seeing something along the lines and size of the seeker deer. Now I have still seen, and I'm not the only person, my wife's seen them with me as well, we have seen much larger deer in the area whether i get the opportunity to pick them up on camera i don't know but the search for the seeker goes on thank you for watching please like and share this video and subscribe to the east beds bushcraft channel see you all again soon